Hello friends, I'm Tim Wildsmith, and in this video I'm going to be showing you the best places to buy premium Bibles online. So one of the most common questions that I get asked here on YouTube as well as at BibleReviewBlog.com is people wanting to know where to buy premium Bibles. There's a lot of different websites out there. There's a lot, a lot of, honestly, some of them don't look that great. They're not like the best design websites. And people are like, are these legitimate websites? Yes, they are. Um, and so people are wondering where to get the best deals, that sort of things. And honestly, there's a few different ways you can go in buying bi premium Bibles online. These are expensive Bibles. I know you don't want to buy something and not get the best deal. I know you don't want to buy something and not get it from the most reputable place. And so I decided to make a video here to kind of walk you through and show you on my computer uh, where you can get the best deals and all the different websites that are great things to check out because what, that's what you want to do. There's going to be different prices you're going to see online and you want to get the best deal possible when you're spending and getting a premium Bible. So before we dive in, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed already. And uh, yeah, take some notes here, write some things down as we go through it. And I'll put links in the description for everything as well so you can follow back up so you can find out the best way to get a premium Bible online. Okay, let's start with a quick shout out to BibleReviewBlog.com, my website. Everything that I do here on YouTube um, appears on the website. The videos are there. I also do written reviews, uh, lots of detailed information there on the website. So definitely check that out. We're going to go over here and start with Crossway. So if you are an ESV Bible fan and you're looking for a premium ESV Bible, head to crossway.org slash Bibles. I like to click click Browse All Bibles, and you can uh, sort these. Most of the time, the easiest way to find the premium Bibles is to search from highest price to lowest price, or you can go to like the cover option here and click something like Goat Skin, right? Click Goat Skin, it'll show you. So for example, here's a recent release from Crossway, the ESV Preaching Bible Verse by Verse Edition, and you can buy this Bible directly from Crossway through their website, Add to Cart. Now you notice here, the retail price is $249. So one of the first things I wanna tell you, the first tips here is don't pay retail for a premium Bible. Almost always you can find a better deal than the retail price that's listed on the back of the box and things like that. So for example, right above this you see Crossway Plus members receive 30% off Bibles. You don't have to pay anything to become a Crossway Plus member. It's basically just registering with them, giving them your email address, creating an account on their website. So this Bible immediately drops by $75. If I, if I logged into my account, the price here would be a line through it and it would say $175. So I know for me, the most I wanna pay for this Bible because I can get it that way from the publisher is 175 bucks. Now we'll return to this Bible as we go through some other websites and you'll see what the prices are there. You might be able to get a better deal at other websites. But Crossway is kind of the home base for ESV premium Bibles, the heirloom collection, things like that. Great website, uh, easy to use. I really like the looks of it. Now, for the NKJV, the King James Version, the NET Bible, that's Thomas Nelson. I've got their website here. You go to thomasnelsonbibles.com, you, you click Bibles and it'll take you to all of their different Bibles. I'm going to scroll down, go to Premier Collection. So, uh, for example, clicking one that I really like, the NKJV Single Column Reference Bible. Their, their Bible in a brown goatskin over here. It's one of my favorite Bibles ever and definitely in the NKJV. So they've got this listed on their website. Real quick, I'm going to jump over to zondervan.com slash Bible. So if you didn't know this, Zondervan and Thomas Nelson are both owned by HarperCollins. That's why the Premier Collection features Bibles that are the translations under Thomas Nelson as well as the translations under Zondervan, which are, let's see here, Bibles, NIV, New Revised Standard Version, New American Standard Bible, and Amplified. So kind of the way Crossway just sells them to you directly on their website, if you go to Thomas Nelson or Zondervan and you scroll down and you find, let's say I'm going to click Premium, Brown, buy. Thomas Nelson gives you a bunch of different options that you can cl click on. I'm going to show you a couple of these in a moment. But faithgateway.com is like the official store of HarperCollins for their Bible division. So everything Thomas Nelson and uh, Zondervan Bibles, the premium stuff, is going to be at faithgateway.com. And you can usually get a pretty good deal. So here, retail was $189. There's just got it listed for $133 for that Bible, which is a good deal for that Bible, in my opinion. So that's uh, the Premier Collection from Thomas Nelson and Zondervan, which covers a bunch of different translations. Real quick, 
If you are an NASB fan, definitely check out Steadfast Bibles. You can see up here that's 316publishing.com, and then you click Steadfast Bibles. They do uh, premium editions, the, the Preacher's Bible and the Handy Size Preacher's Bible, which I reviewed. I loved that Bible in the New American Standard Version. They also are doing the, I just saw it here, they're doing the LSB, the Legacy Standard Bible that's now coming out. They're doing the premium versions of that as well. I don't think you can buy Steadfast Bibles anywhere else but on their website. But um, really cool company. I've chatted with them a little bit. It's a great place to buy those Bibles. Okay, now getting into the super premium stuff, Cambridge, Allen, and Schuyler. So they all have their own website where you can buy the Bibles directly from them. So Cambridge is part of Cambridge University Press, which is a very large company, global. You're going to see that their Bibles are available in a lot of different places that you're familiar with. But if you go to cambridge.org slash Bibles, you see versions. They sell all of these different versions of the Bible. So for example, I'm just going to click on New King James Version, and it's going to open up their website, and it's going to tell me all of the different Bibles that they have in the NKJV. So they have a pit minion. Whoops, I clicked in the Alexa prayer book. That's cool. I didn't know that they had that. Um, if I go back to that page, they have NKJV pit minion, wide margin, clarion, and topaz. So the topaz is a recent release, the topaz NKJV. I reviewed that one last month. You see here they've got a bunch of different editions of the topaz. So like, for example, the retail price of the, the dark green goatskin edition that I have is $335. That's how much the retail price is listed on their website. I don't think if I add this to my cart that it's going to be discounted like it was at Crossway's website. I think if you buy from, from Cambridge Direct, you're paying the full retail price. But again, you can buy their Bibles other places, so keep that in mind. But Cambridge, uh, cambridge.org slash Bibles is where you can find their Bibles and every all the information. R.L. Allen. So this is R.L. Allen's website is biblesdirect.co. Dot UK. This is one of the ones where people are like, is this the official website? I'm like, yeah, this is their website. You can see all the information here. You can get the history. If you, if you surf around this website, there's a lot of cool blog posts and things like that. But everything sold directly from R.L. Allen is at Bibles Direct. You see over here is all of the King James Version Bibles that they sell. They also have some of the Cambridge Bibles for sale on their website in the KJV. But then you open up, there's their English Standard Version Bible. So they just re-released the, um, the ESV Reader. So there's several editions of this. A couple of those have speckled page edges, which is really cool. You see that their prices are listed in pounds. So you want to do the conversion because right now for the U.S. and often for the U.S., the price is going to be higher in U.S. dollars than it is in pounds. But you pay that one fee, they ship it to you. Um, if you don't pay extra for shipping, you're not going to get a tracking number. But what I found from Bibles Direct is that I can get a Bible. I'm in Tennessee. I can get a Bible from the day I order it, usually in a week to 10 days. I think it's two weeks tops, and the longest I've actually waited for a Bible to show up is 12 days. And so they're really great, easy to work with. They email you when you get their order, and they say, hey, we shipped your Bible. So um, anything official directly from Allen, you can get here, and these prices are usually pretty competitive. Now, Skylar. Skylar Bibles. I'm going to evangelicalbible.com. Now, if you notice, if, if I typed in Skylar Bibles.com. It redirects me to evangelicalbible.com to their Skylar page. That's because Skylar Bibles and evangelicalbible.com are the same folks. Evangelicalbible.com is a website that sold premium Bibles, lots of different Bibles, and then when Skylar was launched, it was launched by the same people. So this is the home base for Skylar Bibles. As far as I know, this is the only place you can buy a brand new Skylar Bible. So you go to evangelicalbible.com, you click on Bibles, you see Schuyler. You're also going to notice that they sell a bunch of other Bibles as well. Cambridge, Allen, Crossway, Trinitarian, Holman, Lockman, Nelson, Zondervan. They sell premium Bibles and non-premium Bibles from all the different major publishers here at evangelicalbible.com. It's a great website, and I will tell you this. I have found that evangelicalbible.com often has the best prices on premium Bibles across the internet. So for example, real quick, I'll just click Schuyler so you can see all the different Schuyler Bibles they open. So you see this, so it says personal size Quintel, you click in there and it scrolls down. They currently have one NIV PSQ in stock. There it is. If you go back up to one of the newer releases, so the ESV Quintel, they have three of those different ones in stock. If I go to, let's see, Crossway, we looked at the verse by verse. So if I click Crossway Premium, Where's the verse by verse? Here it is. Verse by, by verse preaching Bible. It was 175 if you use the Crossway Plus membership. It's 155 from evangelicalbible.com. Here's, let's check out another one. Um, Cambridge. We looked at the NKJV Topaz. It was 335 retail. It's 235 from evangelicalbible.com. That's a brand new out of the box Bible. So you can see they have the black one over here is 285, but the green one is only 235. They also sell Allen Bibles. 
So they usually have a little bit of stock. They don't have as much stock usually at evangelicalbible.com. You see right there, they have six different KJVs in stock. I think they have a couple different ESVs in stock right now. Yeah, so uh, usually you can find more in stock, but these are gonna get to you a little bit faster. Their shipping is great. Their customer service is fantastic. I highly recommend you check out evangelicalbible.com when you're looking for premium Bibles because they sell all the different ones you could be looking for. Okay, so we've gone through all the, the, the websites that are owned by the publishers. Now I want to go to third-party sites. So Amazon, yes. Amazon can be a good place to buy premium Bibles. You're not going to find Skylar, and you're not going to find R.L. Allen, but pretty much all the other ones we've talked about, you're going to find them. So for example, I'm going to type in ESV uh, verse by verse preaching Bible. Didn't spell preaching right, but I'm still going to get it. So they're selling it for $175, the same price as what uh, Crossway is selling it for. They also, because I mentioned earlier, because Cambridge is a large company, you can type in Cambridge Bibles. You can see there's the Topazes, all the different Cambridge stuff in here. They sell a lot of, you can find those sorts of Bibles from Cambridge, as well as Nelson, Zondervan, that sort of thing. Often you can get a really great deal if a Bible is on sale. You see like special discounts on Amazon, or if you have Amazon gift card dollars from a birthday or a holiday, you know, and you want to spend that on a Bible, check Amazon for sure. I had a, the, the KJV, um, Concord KJV that I from Cambridge that I reviewed. I got a smoking deal on that on eBay on on, eBay, on Amazon. It was a great great deal and it was a brand new beautiful Bible. So um, Amazon's a good place. Also another third party site is ChristianBook.com. Once again, you can't get Allen, you can't get Skylar here, but pretty much everything else you can get, and they have really great prices. I would say that I often find the best price, the best deal at ChristianBook.com or evangelicalbible.com. So you'll see me, I put uh, links to christianbook.com and to uh, amazon.com in my reviews and in my, on my website and things like that. That's because they have an affiliate program. So when you click that, if you buy a Bible or something, when you click that, it gives me like a little tiny, tiny sliver of a kickback, um, which helps me kind of keep Bible review blog up and running, that sort of thing. So uh, Amazon and Christian Book are third party sites. Now, everything that we've looked at so far has been brand new Bibles. We've talked about going to the publisher's website like Crossway, Thomas Nelson, Zondervan, Steadfast, even the boutique websites for Cambridge, Schuyler, Allen. But then we've talked about going to third party websites like Amazon.com and ChristianBook.com. And then the question is, what if you want to buy a gently used or heavily used for that matter, premium Bible? A lot of people uh, order these online and they get them and they're like, oh, that wasn't exactly what I wanted, or they have it for a while and they want to get something new and they decide they're going to sell it. And one of the reasons I, I created Bible Review Blog is to help people not want to have to sell their Bibles that they got and it was the wrong thing. But a lot of times people do. And I want to show you two websites that you can check out that you can uh, buy used Bibles and get good deals oftentimes. So first, go to eBay. Yes, I know eBay, you got to be careful. Some people don't know what they've got. They don't know what they're selling. They might not be good sellers. So definitely be careful. But I'm going to search here. You see R.L. Allen. Very quickly, I see there's a, a 2016 ESV uh, NCR, which is the, the New Classic Reader's Reference Edition, 275. That's not great, but they're going to let you make an offer there. I've only gotten burned one time on eBay when I bought a Bible from somebody who said that it was in perfect condition, and they took pictures of a couple corners of it that looked really good, and when it showed up, it was, it was pretty beat up, and I was frustrated. Now, that person gave me a slight refund, and I was happy with it when it turned out. But you just want to make sure you read the description really well. You... you Make sure you check the photos, and if the photos aren't great, ask for other photos. Oftentimes, I've gotten a handful of really great deals on Bibles on eBay um, that were in great condition, and I was totally thrilled with them. You just got to know what you're looking for and be careful when you're doing it. There is a, a level of accountability with eBay. With your, if you're not happy, they've got customer service and things like that. So um, I, what I do is I, I have a saved search for Allen, Schuyler, Cambridge, different things that I'm interested in. And I just check every couple of days to see what's been posted most recently on eBay. I'm sure there's a lot of us who are doing that. So a lot of times the Bibles go really fast, but that's a good place to check eBay. Another is Facebook. Now I'm not logged into Facebook now and I didn't want to show people's personal information, but there are some great buy, sell, trade groups on Facebook where people who love premium Bibles have decided they're going to sell them or, or find someone, find a new home for them, that sort of thing. So. Um, the Bible Exchange, look that up. You can look up Buy, Sell, Trade, Everything Bibles. There's also the Buy, Sell, Trade, Buy, buy Sell, Trade Bibles Superfans page. These are great places where you can find people like you and me who love premium Bibles, who maybe they have one that didn't work out for them or they've had it for a while and they want to get something else and it's gently used. Can't tell you how many awesome Bibles. I've never gotten burned buying and selling Bibles on Facebook, and I've done it dozens of times now. And I've actually created some really great friends. My friend Jonathan in North Carolina, he was in Nashville recently. We like had lunch and hung out, and he's become a, a really dear friend to me. 
And he's somebody who I just, we traded Bibles one time. That was how we met each other, through these Facebook groups. And there's, there's Facebook groups for every translation of the Bible, for different publishers of the Bible. Like there's an Allen Bible Addicts. I've mentioned that before, a really great Facebook page. And people are buying and selling Allen Bibles in that group. So Facebook can be a good place. You, again, you want to be careful. Make sure you ask the right questions. Make sure that, you know, if you're using PayPal, you can use the... Um, the, the feature that allows there to be like a fee for the purchase protection, that sort of thing. But um, what I've found on those websites is a lot of really great folks who um, it makes buying and selling Bibles actually kind of fun to see what's out there. And it's a good place to look if you want to get something and try to get it a little bit less. But bottom line is there's some really fantastic websites from the publishers and third-party sites that sell great new Bibles. And if you look at those different websites, you might be able to find a really good deal on what you're looking for. Also check out Places like eBay and Facebook if you want to get a good deal on a used Bible. That's what I do when I'm buying premium Bibles. Obviously, I buy a lot of premium Bibles. I buy and sell, too. Um, so it's, it's a great, fun thing to do, and there's ways to do it really well. But everything that I've listed in this video is kind of my go-to uh, searches and where I go online when I'm looking for a premium Bible. And so I'll put all of this information in the description. You also can check out BibleReviewBlog.com. I'll put a bunch of links there as well. But if you have any questions, drop me a comment. Let me know uh, what, you, what you have follow-up questions about in this video, and I'd be glad to answer that for you. As always, thank you so much for watching Bible Review Blog. I'm having a blast doing this, and I appreciate your views, and I appreciate your, your comments and your encouragement. Definitely hit that like button on the video, subscribe to the channel, and check out Bible Review Blog on Instagram and Facebook. We've got a great community out there that's talking about the Bible, having a great time. So thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time.